So J. Cole promotes the clean life on this new Gucci Mane collab. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub and check this out. So J. Cole and Gucci Mane dropped their song, There I Go, on Friday, August 25th. It's produced by Mike Will Made It. And J. Cole sets the tone and leans into his drug-free lifestyle, revealing he's never done cocaine, but he's not judging those who partake. I'm a straight shooter, no sugar coat, no booger sugar, never had a nose full of dough. It's all good, folks. Coke, how you want to coke? Drink what you want to drink. Smoke what you want to smoke. Stroke who you want to stroke. Gucci Mane then tags in, but make sure to salute J. Cole with a shout out to his hometown of Fayetteville, North Carolina. Gucci Mane and J. Cole, the collaboration. They pulled the band, woke the bell by the hibernation. These boys exaggerate and do a lot of fabrication. Big ups to Fayetteville, shout out Mechanicsville. I keep it true, they go from Thomasville to Summer Hill. The star studded collaboration is slated to land on Gucci Mane's forthcoming Breath of Fresh Air album, which will be arriving on October 17th. But J. Cole also teamed up with Burner Boy on the song Thanks, and it was their first time uniting on Wax, and that didn't stop Cole from comparing their ability to the dynamic Los Angeles Laker duo of Kobe Bryant and Shaquille O'Neal. Cole and Burner, Shaq and Kobe, winning a the ring, then we gon' repeat and three peat. Them nerds hate, they see geeks, they peeping us on the low, we like a cheat sheet. Kobe and Shaq led the Los Angeles Lakers to three consecutive NBA championships in 2000, 2001, and 2002. During a recent appearance on Complex's 360 with Speedy, Burner Boy explained how things came about and revealed he and J. Cole have another collaboration in the locker. Yeah, we did get in the studio, but we didn't make thanks that day. Mm. We made something else. And then, um, yeah, he sent me the verse of thanks like a few weeks later. So then, yeah. Where's the thing that you made that first time in the studio? Ask him. Oh, it's his? Oh, so maybe we'll see that <laughs> in the future. Burner Boy went on to describe how they connected and revealed a number of basketball players were in the studio with them. Man, I can't really remember everything about that day because it was such such a lit day. But somehow someone called someone and someone called some, like, some, I don't know. I can't really remember everything, but eventually we end up in the studio. The rest is history. It was just a, it was a crazy day. You know, there was a bunch of basketball players in the studio. <laughs> but let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to set the date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com.